hello guys and welcome to the channel so in this one i want to do a quick um run through of how you can create a um ad on twitter okay so basically let's get started but by the way if you're not subscribed to my channel please hit the subscribe button and do leave a like on this video all right so um this is a google search and i simply searched for ads.twitter.com and the first result here is actually the website so i want you to click on it to open it up and if you are opening up this for the first time if you're opening this up for the first time you will get the option to select your country and your time zone okay um so just go ahead and select that and it's important for you to know that you cannot change this after you've selected it and so make sure you do the right thing there okay so um you should then be brought to this page where you can um choose the objective of your um advert okay so this first option here is it's, it's kind of similar to what we have on facebook but the first option here is um the reach so you want to reach more people with um an ad or a tweet you can actually select this okay and then this second option here we see different um varieties so there's the video views pre-roll views app installs website clicks so depend on what you want to achieve or if you want more engagement more followers on your account and then the last one is app re-engagement so basically what i'm just going to go is i'm just going to stick with website clicks and then i'll click on next okay so here it's saying that i should confirm if i want to change objective so i'm just going to click yes change objective and then we can see this option here where we can you know select some things so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to give my campaign a name so i'm just going to say something here okay and then specify the funding source and the daily budget okay so for example you may want to say maybe my daily budget is maybe ten dollars and my total budget is maybe a hundred dollars okay and then you then specify a start and an end date for your ad okay so for this start date maybe i'll just do 13th and you know you can specify an end date but it's optional okay so for the end date well let me do I'm just going to go further, maybe 15th, and then I'm going to click on next. Okay, but then let's see if there's any interesting thing in the advanced tab. So in the advanced tab, basically, um, it's the pacing. And let me just see if, okay, so there are two options here, the standard and the accelerated. And uh, basically, it's this standard, I actually recommend you go with the standard um pacing okay it's just a measure of how fast your ad is going to run okay all right so basically that's it so it says you see here that it says show ads throughout the day to spend budget as effectively as possible so just go ahead and leave it as is and click on next okay so this is where we then this is where we then come to the ad group setting okay so um first off just go ahead and give your ad group a name so So just go ahead and give your ad group a name and then specify the start and the end as well okay so let me just do so this is fine i can just leave the end because it's actually optional and then total ad group budget so within a campaign essentially you can have more than one ad groups okay so maybe perhaps you want to test different um, um ways of you know setting your ads you can have more than one ad groups inside of a an ad campaign okay so um this is total ad budget so just go ahead and do whatever you want so depend on your budget actually and then the bid type so it's actually set to automatic bid type but then you can go ahead and do target cost and maximum bid but it's actually good to just go with automatic bid because twitter will help you maximize um your budget okay 
so let me scroll down here and then let's talk about demographics so first off do you want to target only men or both so let's leave it at both for the tutorial purposes and then all ages you definitely don't want to leave it at all ages you want to select an age range okay so if you click down here you can then choose um so maybe 18 to maybe like 34 okay depending on what you want all right so you want to um specify the location and most times you will you you may not want a whole country so i'm just going to reduce this to just maybe a state okay or something like that Okay, so for some reason I'm actually not getting my search. So, but let's go down. So, um, you also want to specify your language. So, um, if you don't actually specify this, then it will actually use your default language on your Twitter account. In my case, it's English. Okay. So, um, Twitter actually has some very um, interesting um, parameters you can set here. So, you can target people based on their devices. So, if I am probably um, doing a campaign on to increase my app installs and for example if i have just maybe like an android app i can actually just target people that use um android app okay and then there are more features so you can select which particular one you want but for example i can just target only android or maybe android and ios or something like that or people that view twitter from a desktop okay so depending on what you want right so but i'm just going to you know uncheck that and leave it blank or you can actually select this since this is actually just for tutorial purposes all right so let me scroll down and show you so you can actually set device model carriers and stuff like that but i'm not gonna go into that here all right so custom audience now if you've actually like set like an audience created an audience before you can actually search and you know work with that same audience otherwise you have to create um, you have to come down to targeting features and then you know use keywords and other things to target the people you want to set your ads to display to so for example the keyword um, aspects here you can maybe just add a keyword so for example let's say I'm targeting people that are interested in tech particularly JavaScript okay so I can just select that or maybe something like maybe web development and stuff like that. So um, let's just do web and you know, stuff like that. So depending on whatever you want, so it may be fashion or it may be something related to your business. Okay. So whatever you want. And then there's this options here for followers look alike. So if there is someone on Twitter, right, that is actually doing what you that's actually in your niche or doing what you're currently trying to do and they have a large amount of followers you can actually just type in their um, username here and twitter would um you know show your adverts to the followers of such people okay so basically you can actually do that uh, but i'm just going to leave that blank okay i just wanted to to point out that to you and then of course you can specify the interests of your um the people you want to target for the ads you're creating okay so if i come here uh you see that there are various interests so just go ahead and choose whichever one you want so maybe i'll just go to technology and computing and i'll just select computer programming so that i don't spend too much time here and that would be it okay so you see here computer programming but remember it's based on what you want and then if there is like a movie that you want to show people that are you know talking about that movie and stuff like that you can go ahead and you know set that here okay if like maybe there is a popular movie on you know um, so events okay so basically for events right um, if there is like a current um, happening okay maybe in politics or whichever area in sports and you want to target people that are talking about that particular 
event you can actually do that here by you know searching for that event and then people that are talking about a particular topic okay um whatever it is you can select here so if i'm doing a, an advert that's about tech i probably would want to target people that are talking about maybe web development javascript and stuff like that so okay all right so basically you can you know do stuff like that now there, there is this additional option here right that you can also target your followers right but um we are, are going to come to that later so because the reason why it makes sense to actually set this is that some of your followers may actually miss out your posts right so i'm going to check that and i'm going to check expand your audience and it's actually optional um but if you want to stay put on the defined audience then you can just drag it down to define okay which is what i recommend so basically what what you should actually do is you should actually create two ad groups and inside of those two ad groups you can then see how this actually works and which one is more productive for you okay as a person all right so basically that's what you that's what you want to do for your ads right um so let's scroll down so you see that in many ways this is actually similar to um you know the facebook um video i did um so here we're talking about ad placement here right where do you want your ads to show up so basically the home timeline is checked by default but it's also going to show up in profiles do you want it to show up in search results do you want to extend to twitter audience platforms and stuff like that so um depend on what you want to achieve okay so but i'm just going to leave it as is but if you want to stick to just the home timeline you can uncheck all of this okay all right so it says this this one here is also important ad category so choose a category that describes your ad so I, i'm just mine is not very difficult so i'm just going to stick with web development okay maybe design design okay so i'm just gonna stick with that or maybe i'll just say javascript or something like that okay something like all right so that's javascript okay and then here because i chose website to you know direct traffic to my website it's asking me to give the url for that website so i'm just gonna say www.zenotrustacademy.com okay so I've specified the URL for um, the website I'm going to try um, I'm targeting okay so but if you were targeting like an app or something and it's currently on the Play Store so you can actually just you know put the ID okay of the app here or you can you know stuff like that if you put the ID of the app it's actually going to generate and locate that app on the Google Play Store using the um, API okay so um so that's about it but then the last thing is for us to set um the creative which deals with how the app is going to display okay all right but for this creatives area here if this is your very first time of doing this and i just wanted to simulate so that you can see and you've not added any kind of payment method for your um ads twitter account or ads twitter you will not actually be able to see any of your tweets and um, that's why you see this here so let me show you how you can fix this okay because some people have had some issues with this kinds of stuff so basically all you need to do is to um, click on your name here okay and then you see the option to add new payment method okay so go ahead and click on that i'm opening that in a new tab so you can see and then you can go ahead and add a payment method so you just add your credit card now it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to um, use this you know just by adding or you'll be billed just by adding you're actually only going to be billed when you create an ad and the ad is approved and it starts running okay so go ahead and add your um, credit card or your payment method and then there's one thing i also want to point out that after you've gone through your settings here right on this audience estimate here you'll see if you fall into the recommended um, range so as you can see here i'm i'm below the recommended age that's because i'm actually not going to publish this ad and i have not you know 
gone through all of the settings like i would if i was creating an actual ad okay so just make sure that you fall somewhere inside of this you know green slot here okay and you would actually do if you go through all of these settings one after the other and set your targeting properly okay so if you've um added your credit card um payment method you'll be able to see all of your tweets and if you you know don't want to use any of your tweets you can actually create a new tweet for the purpose of the ad itself and then when you've done that you just simply click on next and it will show you a summary like a run through of all the you know settings you've you know done so i'll just scroll down so you can see so this is basically a summary of all of our settings placements and stuff like that the only thing that is missing is our creatives that's what the ad would actually look like when you publish it okay so when you've done that and you've gone through everything looks fine go ahead and click on launch campaign and your ad will be submitted to twitter and will begin to run after it is verified okay so basically that's just a rundown of how you can easily create a twitter ad and i'm going to say that the most important thing for your twitter ad aside you know having a picture that is catchy um keeping your text short and straight to the point you don't want to add too much text the most important thing after this is your um targeting features okay you need to spend as much time there's no rush actually in creating an ad spend as much time as you can customizing your targeting features so that you can reach the right people so basically that's the rundown of how you can create a twitter ad thank you so much for watching this video and see you in another one